Welcome back to another one everybody. So in this video we're looking at graduation address labels. Really it's just address labels, but around this time everybody that I know is but around this time a lot of people are looking for address labels and you know you can obviously print some or you can order some and if you are like me, you want to do it yourself. We're going to look at that in this video. We're not going to use Microsoft Word. That'll be the next one. So subscribe, follow along if you want. Otherwise, everyone that wants to use Google Sheets and Google Docs, this tutorial is for you. So grab your address book and let's get to it. All right, so here are the first option. If you have Google Docs, you can download the template. I'll put the link in the description. And for this one, you're gonna to have to type your address in each one. So you could throw it in there. And if you're doing return labels, you want them all to be the same. You can just select the whole sheet and then paste them all in after you get your first one formatted the way you want. All right. And once you have it filled out, or before you do that, you can adjust your bold and italics, you know, all that stuff still works. And if you want to add space up here at the beginning, you come over here, line paragraph, add space before paragraph. There you go. It applies to all. And before you print, make sure you select the whole table and go to your table border color here changes to white that way when it prints it's not there all right for this next one we're in google sheets i have this document open we're going to go to add-ons because for this option you need some additional software go to get add-ons search label maker and there's a lot of options in the store. You can play with some if you don't like this one, but this is the one that's been working for me and it's already installed. So we'll go back to it on our document. We'll go to extensions. It's already installed and everything. So once you go through those steps, you go ahead and come back to extensions and then it should be here. If it's not, make sure you refresh your page your browser, whatever is necessary. All right. So we're back after we got that installed and done all those steps. We'll go hit down into create and print labels, create labels. After that, the sidebar will pop up. You select your template for the address labels 30 up. You need the 5160. This is Avery. You know, they're the industry standard. So we'll select that one. They also have Presta down here. All right. So we'll pick the 5160 we'll hit use and we'll select the It'll automatically populate with the columns from our table. So obviously it'll be the name, address, city, state, zip. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Then you'll have to go ahead and format it appropriately. All right, so we have everything the way we want it to look. We'll hit create labels. And then it will generate the document for us. So we'll go ahead and open the document. As you can see, it opens up in Google Sheets, all ready to go. And if you noticed, I added the bold to this one, just to show you guys that you have that option for some custom formatting and it translated over here as well all right the last pointer i'm going to give you guys if you want some customization like you saw at the beginning of the video with the examples that i show, showed you guys from like zazzle or etsy like a graduation cap all right and for the third and final option we're in canva many of you are familiar with it and even some of you are probably familiar with me doing a video similar to this last year this is an updated to the video and it's going to include Canva. So what we'll go ahead and do is search return address labels. As you can see, I've already done that. So I'll start over with you guys. 
if you do only search address labels, you look at the dimensions, these are only going to be two, two and a half by one point one, I believe. So just throw a basic design in there. All right, and this last one is really just for if you want to customize your return address labels, not really going to take the time for this for your address labels that you're sending out. So you take a template or you design it yourself. You export it. All right, so you download it, you upload it to your Google Drive, you open it in Word, you copy this, and we'll come over to the template like this, and we'll paste it in here. And then I'm gonna copy it and paste it in all of them. Oops, just don't paste over your whole table. There we go. So now we have custom labels. Very nice. Now, I would keep in mind printing these on sheet labels might look pretty bad when it's this small. So you can do a test print on regular paper before you use your sheet labels. That's just a tip there. And that wraps it up for this video. If you guys have any questions about anything I've talked about in this, please let me know in the comments. I will try to respond to all of them. And if you have any suggestions for other people, definitely share that down below too. In the next one, like I said, we'll do some Microsoft options. If the one by three isn't what you're using, you have these labels like this one here, which is a one by two and five eighths. You can do your custom size for that instead of the one by three. I've always done one by three, no issues, but just want to caution you with that if you are using something that is not exactly one by three you may run into some issues so please don't follow me exactly on the dimensions as always take what i'm giving you mix it with what you have in front of you and make the best decision for yourself in that current situation description has a link and a coupon to our website thank you for the likes subscribes and the comments and we'll talk to you in the next one